does not necessarily make us a bad person. When it comes to our bodies, we have the ultimate say and decision to do whatever we believe is in our best interest, regardless of what other people might think. So what if I told you that you could decide everything up until the moment that you die in your life? What if I told you that if you feel as if your purpose in this life is complete, that you have a safe alternative exit? If you feel like you're suffering from a pre-existing health disease or a pre-existing medical condition, or simply you feel as if every day to open your eyes is a struggle, or you lack stability and funding to keep going, you have a safe medical procedure you can fall back on. And if you feel as if you can't take the pain that everyday life entails, that you have an option to fall back on and a choice. Suicide is a world problem. However, it's we can't save everyone, but we can focus on the problems within our nation and within our own citizens first. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in America. In 2019, 47,511 people died from suicide. In regards to suicide attempts, there was a total of 100 and no, 1.38 million in America in 2019. On average, 130 suicides occur per day in the United States. But this topic isn't based on suicide prevention, although that is also a very serious and devastating issue that we are still struggling to overcome. This issue is a debate based solely on professional medical assisted suicide. I believe this is a safer method than all of the other ways people who aren't qualified in the medical field tend to take their lives. Physician assisted suicide is legal in 11 states, California, Colorado, District of Columbia, Maine, Montana, Hawaii, New Jersey, New Mexico, Oregon, Vermont, and Washington. However, these states don't even include the highest suicide rate in America. The highest suicide rate lies in the state of Wyoming. However, they still don't offer any safe choices for their citizen in regards to safe and legal medical procedures. And I guarantee you the suicide rate would not be as high if people had the choice to a physician assisted suicide in this state. The probability of people leaving the medical offices alive are a lot higher because you would be surrounded by medical professionals and doctors who might be able to save you or even convince you not to go through with the procedure as opposed to you being alone by yourself attempting to take your own life. Let's say that someone wanted a physician assisted suicide but they were worried about their life insurance policy and whether or not their family would get their life insurance money. But there's a solution to that. Even though many life insurance companies might prevent a certain said person from obtaining their payment if they feel like the death was self-inflicted, some companies will still go through with the plan so long as the suicide occurred two to three years later after the plan was in place. You have to be careful with the suicide clause, but if the suicide is legal and occurs in a medical facility safely, the chances of your family being denied your life insurance policy are very low as opposed to some companies declining and eliminating the plan as a whole, all because you were struggling to stay alive and you ended up being a victim of suicide on your own, therefore leaving the incident undocumented. Your needs come first. Your ideas and decisions should not be thrown away or disregarded only because some people believe assisted medical legal safe suicide is morally wrong. Let me all remind you of something. It's 2021. People are literally in the process of inventing robots and you're telling me 39 out of 50 states don't even have legalized physician assisted suicide. You're telling me that 39 out of 50 states aren't going to let their citizens choose if they want this as an option or not? The amendments and constitution of this country is solely based on our rights, our freedom, and our liberty. So shouldn't that include our own lives? And whether we want to end it because we're struggling with medical conditions or because we personally feel like our purpose in this life is complete, 
who's to decide that for us? Who's to tell us when we get to relax and when we get to stop? You, the people, know yourselves the best. And you should have the decision on whether you want a physician-assisted suicide legalized or not. If it's costing you or your family more to keep up with the medical bills because you have a serious health condition and you're struggling every day, who's to tell you you have to keep dragging yourself through that pain and agony? As someone who's had a best friend attempt suicide and have talked to multiple people out of it, I personally understand the concerns and issues behind this topic, the ethical and the moral issues. I don't ever want to reach a point in my life where I'm fighting every day by being plugged into machines and the only way I can eat is by having someone feed me. I don't ever want to reach a point where I start to lose my memory and make my family believe that I've forgotten them, when in reality I can't help it nor do I realize that I'm putting them through all of this pain. I don't ever want to feel in my life where I've reached a point that I cannot make a big drastic decision for myself. Can you say the same? According to a study survey of American fears conducted by Chapman University in 2017, 20.3% of Americans are afraid or very afraid of dying. I wonder how many of those fears include being scared or dying alone. However, if you have a physician-assisted suicide, you won't have to worry about dying alone. And those fears will be eliminated because you will be surrounded by people you love, by medical staff, by doctors. I want you to know that your choices are only yours to make. In your life, you should be the one calling the shots. Even if it is how you decide to leave this life. Having that option available is something that everyone should have, not just 11 out of 50 states. If we normalize physician-assisted suicide, I guarantee you we will save a lot more lives and the people affected by those and around those lives. I can't imagine how many people have walked in in a room and found their loved one attempting to take their own life. We could save a lot of people from those traumatic circumstances and lifelong images if we give the victims an opportunity to do that privately, professionally, and safely. One could argue that a physician-assisted suicide could be related to the procedures of taking birth control. I understand that these are two very different things because you're talking about protecting the, bod the human body in a safe way and completely ending the human body in a different way. But at the end of the day, people advise girls not to take birth control. But some people do advise girls to take it because it's simply a safer method. However, at the end of the day, the girl gets the ultimate decision and no one can force that. No one else can decide that for her. But she is gonna have to go to a medical facility for that. And whatever the female decides to do, and ultimately, she believes it's a safer choice, but it's a very personal one that only she's able to make. Therefore, everyone should have the decision on whether or not they want to seek professional help for anything in this life, really. If someone feels as if their time is up, who's to tell them that they can't make a decision like this? Better yet, who's to tell them that they're not even going to have the opportunity to make a decision like this? Let's work today to make an assisted suicide legal. Let's stop frowning upon it. Let's stop being closed-minded and open our minds so we can stop inflicting and creating traumas. Let's sign petitions, create peaceful protests, make donations. These are all ways that we can peacefully make our voices heard. So stand up for yourself and most importantly, decide what's best for you. Because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. Regardless of who's around you, regardless of where you are, regardless of what you've done, 